room is a little bit bigger than I'm used to, but we'll make it work. Uh, hello, my name is Marianne Kavirinka. I'm a PhD student at uh, Utrecht University, where I study algorithmic accountability in Dutch municipalities. Um, I'm here to present my systematic literature review on algorithmic accountability, and I'll walk you through it. So, um, let's see if this works, yeah. Okay, so algorithmic systems are increasingly being used in public sectors um, uh, and, and in public administration. But a lot of these municipalities I encountered don't really know how to deal with the accountability questions around algorithmic systems. So that's where we uh, come in as scholars, I guess. Um, so what is algorithmic accountability? Well, we don't really know. It's a big, big word. It has uh, a lot of connotations, but there's no, not a really set definition yet. So what's a girl to do? Well, we start from the basics and we do systematic literature review, right? Uh, so this is what it did, a systematic literature review on a fuzzy topic. I will not delve into the methodolo uh, methodology, uh, but suffice to say that I did a bottom-up recursive query design using keywords uh, to map the most prominent connections between words. And from that, I created a query that is uh, bottom-up, so it's not me saying I'm only looking at algorithmic accountability, but also all of the related stuff that connects with it. So as I said, I'm not delving into the methodology here. If you find that interesting, uh, read the methodology paper or just trust me, I'm a doctoral candidate. Um, so I looked at 242 articles, 93 of which are included uh, in the paper contribution here. And it's specifically about identifying what is medium specific about algorithmic accountability. Because of course, we already have huge frameworks of accountability. So it's not completely new, but what is new about the algorithmic part? Okay, so let's again start at the basics. So what's an algorithm? For me, an algorithm is very much socio-technical, so it's not purely a technical thing, uh, but it is embedded within culture, within social practice, um, and that comes with extra considerations. So what is accountability? So if we look at accountability theory, accountability is a relationship between an actor and a form in which an actor has an obligation to explain and to justify his or her conduct, wherein the form can pose questions and pass judgment and the actor may face consequences. So I'm going to spoil, or, uh, spoil a little bit of the results of this paper. So the definition of algorithmic accountability that I came up with based on the literature is that algorithmic accountability concerns a networked account for a socio-technical algorithmic system following the various stages of a system's life cycle. In this accountability relationship, multiple actors have the obligation to explain and justify their use, design, and or decisions of or concerning the system and the subsequent effects of that conduct. As different kinds of actors are in play during the life of the system, they may be held to account by various types of fora either for particular aspects of the system or for the entirety of the system. Such fora may post, may be able, must be able to pose questions and pass judgments, after which one or several actors may face consequences. The relationship between forum and actor departs from a particular perspective on accountability. So that's a mouthful, obviously. So I'm gonna break it down for you. So um, as we saw, there are five aspects to accountability. So there's the actor, there's the forum, there's the relationship between the two, there's the account itself and the consequences imposed. So I'm just gonna walk you through all five aspects. Uh, in the end, I will pay a little bit more attention to the accountability risks involved in this. So if we look at the definition, I highlighted for you the aspects that are relevant to the actor. Um, and what we see is that if we break it down, we can look at the actor in three ways. So first of all, the, the level of the actor. Is it an individual? Is it a, corporate, a corporation that's being held to account? Uh, we can also look at the role. Are they developing the system, which poses a different kind of considerations? Or are they just using the system, which has another kind of uh, relationship in there? Then finally, also the aspect of the system for which they are held responsible. So if we move to the forum, um, we see that there are different kinds of fora that can be involved in this relationship. Uh, a judge may pose different kind of questions uh, than, for instance, a politician. 
So if we look at the relationship, I think two things are really key. So first of all, the phases of the accountability relationship. So there's an information giving phase, there's a discussion phase, and then there's a consequences phase in which the form uh, can ex well, render verdict, I guess. Um, there's also the perspectives of the accountability relationship. So it matters if you're trying to learn from your uh, pilot, for instance, or if you're trying to prevent corruption. So if you look at the account itself, uh, I found it really helpful to match this, uh, and this is also where we get meme specific uh, to, is it going for it? Yeah. All right, so to map it to the software development lifecycle, and I think we can ask three different kind of questions based on the phase that we're in. So in the beginning of a project, you want to ask questions like uh, who, what, when, where, why, and whom does it affect? But if you're developing the system, so if you're in the process of development, uh, you want to ask questions like how does it work? How will we make sure it stays fair, et cetera? Then if you're evaluating, you want to ask questions of, and this is very archaic, I'm sorry for that, but it really works well, um, whence and whither. So where do we come from? Where do we want to go with the system, right? Uh, so if we look at the consequences, um, there are different kinds of power dynamics involved. So a judge has a different kind of power over an actor than uh, society at large. So and these power dynamics really matter for the kind of consequences uh, that can be imposed on people. So I promised I spend a little bit of time looking at accountability risks. Uh, unfortunately, this is an eight-minute paper, so I don't have time to go through all of them. But I do want to um, highlight for you that there are two kinds of accountability risks. So first of all, there's general accountability risks, which are not unique to algorithmic systems. Then there's also medium-specific algorithmic accountability risks, which are unique to uh, algorithmic systems. So, as I said, I only had eight minutes, so if you like this, then you really should go read the paper. Um, and with that, I would really like to thank you for your attention. And if you have any questions, please save them for the Q&A. Thank you.